Today, May the 8th, is the birthday of F.A. Hayek, one of the greatest economists of the Austrian tradition. Hayek was born in 1899 in Vienna, so he would have been 115 years old today. Hayek was a student and a younger colleague of Ludwig von Mises at the University of Vienna, and he later taught at the London School of Economics and the University of Chicago, as well as the University of Freiburg in Germany. Uh, Hayek won the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1974, the only member of the Austrian school to be so honored. Uh, Hayek's early work uh, dealt with business cycle theory. Uh, Hayek followed his uh, mentor Ludwig von Mises in explaining business cycles in terms of monetary expansion and interference in the monetary system by the government. Uh, Hayek, like Mises, uh, believed that a market economy did not generate booms and busts on its own. Uh, other economists like John Maynard Keynes, who uh, was uh, uh, famous at the same time as Hayek, uh, Keynes argued that market economies were inherently unstable and that government intervention in the monetary system and with fiscal policy was necessary to smooth out or stabilize the economy. Nowadays, the so-called Keynesian consensus has fallen apart, and people are increasingly concerned that the standard approach of government trying to fix the economy and stabilize the economy isn't working. And the ideas of great thinkers like Hayek have been rediscovered and are being taught again to students and analyzed by policymakers. And so just as Hayek's Nobel Prize in the 1970s helped to contribute to a revival of interest in the Austrian school itself, the financial crisis and the, the failure of uh, mainstream economists to, to predict it and to grapple with it has led to a revival of interest in Hayek's business cycle theory and the works of Mises and Rothbard and others who argue that a government intervention is the source of uh, economic instability. Hayek was also a very important public intellectual. Uh, he wrote a book, The Road to Serfdom, uh, intended for a popular audience on uh, problems and dangers of government interference in the economic system. Uh, the book was published in the 1940s and caused a huge sensation in the UK and then later in the US. And Hayek became a sort of media star. Uh, around this time, he also founded the Mont Pelerin Society just after World War II, a very important uh, organization of intellectuals and journalists and teachers uh, d devoted to classical liberalism and free market principles and helped to have a substantial impact on public discourse uh, in the 20th century. Hayek went on to do very important work in other fields, in law, in philosophy, in political thought, and he has been uh, continued to be a great teacher and inspiration uh, for Austrian economists and others uh, studying the free market and the free market legal system uh, who came after him. So at the Mises Institute, we are inspired by uh, the scholarship of uh, great economists like uh, Hayek. Uh, we try to follow uh, in the footsteps of Hayek and Mises and the other great Austrians. We're inspired by their scholarship and also by their courage uh, in the face of great public opposition.